The world around us is there for us to explore, whether that be up and out in space or looking at incidents a little closer to home. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three mysterious and interesting discoveries. Big Bang Formed Crater Causing Glow in Sky Back in 2013, some reindeer herders were going about a regular working day when they stumbled almost literally across something rather out of the ordinary. A crater measuring a staggering 4 meters in width and an estimated 100 meters in depth. For a kilometer surrounding this crater, lumps and chunks of ice, soil, sand and other debris lay scattered after they presumably erupted from the Earth. This crater, tucked away on the secluded Tamir Peninsula in the Krasnoyarsk region, lies just 440 kilometers away from a number of other mysterious giant holes, which also appear to have been relatively new arrivals to the landscape. In an effort to understand how these holes were formed, the lead scientist in investigating the site, Dr. Vladimir Epifanov, said that there had been rumors of an explosion in a comment in which he stated, there is verbal information that residents of nearby villages at a distance of 70 to 100 kilometers heard a sound like an explosion and one of them watched a clear glow in the sky. This unexplained explosion seemed to have occurred approximately one month after the Chelyabinsk meteorite, a superbolide that entered the Earth's atmosphere in February 2013, passing over Russia. Plenty of residents and locals appear to have made the assumption that another object falling from space exploded, causing the crater, yet both the explosive sound and the bright light that reports claim accompanied it have not yet been explained. Data following the initial discovery of the site presented trends that showed it expanding, with the size of the crater increasing with each survey. Over the course of 18 months, it was measured as having increased a grand total of 15 times at an accelerating pace. We assume that today it is reaching even greater dimensions, though with no recent surveys of the site, we have no way to definitively know this. Between the expansion of the Tamir crater and the changing landscape surrounding it, some people have expressed concerns about a nearby lake. The surrounding area has seen drastic changes, largely as a result of climate change, and the hotter temperatures have resulted in the permafrost around the edge of the crater melting. Eventually, it is feared that the walls of the crater will collapse into the lake. The possibility of severe or drastic changes, as well as any new giant holes being formed or signs of more eruptions, is closely being monitored by Russia through satellites, though many people have drawn the conclusion that the climate crisis has birthed a new phenomenon and anticipate seeing a great deal more of these strange giant holes that grow into natural resources. When residents first learned of the Tamir Hole in 2013, closely followed by the news of many more not too far away, the rumors began to spread, and theories started to circulate. People's speculations varied, with some being more plausible than others. These suggestions spanned meteorites to military missiles gone amiss, to it being a prank someone deliberately pulled to an alien crash landing. Some think that an underground gas had prompted the appearance of the hole. Someone offered a description when it was first seen that it is not like the work of men, but it also does not look like natural formation. Whilst scientists have explained away many of the other holes, saying that they were caused by climate change melting the gases that had been frozen before, there seems to be something different going on with the Tamir crater. One leading theory is that these strange holes were formed by something called pingos. These are domed mounds which cover ice and are hollow inside. They fill with methane gas as the permafrost melts, and the pressure of the methane gas filling it eventually causes the crater to erupt. This boils down to global warming as the root cause. While this peculiar phenomenon seems to be popping up a little more, both on land and water, it has the potential to be highly dangerous due to leaking methane gas. Others have refuted these claims, suggesting that climate change cannot be the cause of these strange occurrences, as the large depth of more than 100 meters 
does not suggest climate change was a factor, as gas could not dehydrate that far below the surface. Astronomers find the smallest white dwarf Everyone loves a good paradox, as confusing as they may be. In that spirit, astronomers appear to have discovered the smallest and simultaneously the largest white dwarf star ever seen. The sheer size of this white dwarf is small, clocking in at just 4,300 kilometers, making it a little larger than Earth's moon. However, despite its small size, this white dwarf has an unexpectedly heavy mass. Dr. Ilaria Chiazzo, the lead author of the study, published in Nature, and an astronomer at Caltech University, explained the white dwarf star as packing a mass greater than that of our Sun into a body about the size of our Moon. As far as our current understanding goes, white dwarf stars are the last step in the life cycle of a star with a mass too small to become a neutron star or a black hole. If it is large enough, the now dead star will explode, forming a supernova. This particular white dwarf, the small but heavy ZTF J1901 plus 14858, was formed by two smaller white dwarfs merging together, combining their masses to create a sum mass just below the number we would usually see them explode at. This combination created a white dwarf that is tiny in physical stature but has a mass 1.3 times that of our Sun. Dr. Harvey Richer, an astronomy professor at UBC and an author on the paper, explained that this could act as a test to give us more information on white dwarf stars, allowing us to confirm, deny or amend our current theories and understandings. He explained, Current theory holds that the more mass a white dwarf star possessed, the smaller it would become. This is completely the opposite of what one would normally think. He continues to elaborate, explaining that for the mass of a white dwarf star as large as ZTF J1901 plus 1458, we would expect it to be as large as the Earth, at least, and not as small as the Moon. Now scientists are speculating what will come of the strange white dwarf star. Will its mass make it big enough to evolve into a neutron star, a fate usually reserved for stars bigger in size than our Sun? The research team do not seem to find this too implausible, suggesting that the dense number of electrons and protons forming neutrons in its core and the pressure from the electrons against gravity could result in the star collapsing when enough electrons are removed. This has the potential to change our understanding of how neutron stars are formed and begs the question as to how many others were formed this way. Though this does all depend on if this hypothesis is correct. All we can do now is wait and observe. Russia plans to launch nuclear-powered spacecraft to Jupiter Roscosmos, the Russian Federal Space Agency, announced their plans to send a nuclear-powered spacecraft on a tour of the solar system, stopping off on the Moon, then on Venus, and then at Jupiter. The spacecraft's energy module, Zeus, is intended to propel cargo through deep space. This technology has not just been considered by Roscosmos, but also several other countries and space agencies in an attempt to use the technology to shorten space trips. Currently, either solar power or gravity are utilized to power spacecrafts, though this creates long travel times. For example, for an astronaut to visit Mars, it would take three years to go there and back though NASA has explained the Roscosmos nuclear technology has the ability to turn those three years into just two. The US has expressed their hopes to land a nuclear power plant on the Moon in 2027, aiming for a 10 kilowatt reactor with a lunar lander. Though this would be just the second NASA nuclear reactor sent to space following a satellite in 1965. Other crafts, like the famous Curiosity and Perseverance rovers, while they do make use of nuclear power, do not rely on a reactor. Roscosmos, on the other hand, has already successfully sent over 30 reactors into space, though Zeus will still mark a significant step forward. The Zeus module will use a 500 kilowatt nuclear reactor to swiftly move itself between planets, 
moving from Venus to Jupiter. This journey plan does also allow for the gravitational forces to help, not hinder Zeus, whilst his journey will be powered by the nuclear reactor. Logistics regarding how much weight can be carried are still being figured out, though the mission is planned to last for 50 months and could represent a new chapter of spaceflight opening up and becoming more accessible. But what do you make of these outer space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.